I am Anil Kumar and in this series, with the help of a very simple example, we are trying to review all the concepts we have learned about trigonometric function. So basically it is modeling and uh, rate of change. In this particular video, uh, we have uh, the same graph, a cosine function which is reflected and so it starts with the minimum, goes to maximum, then comes down. The question here is, at which point on the graph will the instantaneous rate of change of height with respect to time will be maximum or minimum and explain from the graph below. So first let us review what is instantaneous rate of change. As you know instantaneous rate of change is uh, let us say we'll write difference quotient formula which is a plus h minus f of a divided by a plus h minus a which could be written as f of a plus h minus f of a the value of the function at a point and a value of the function at a point very close to it that's what it means where basically the point difference x values is very very small so we'll say where h is very very less as compared to one so when the two points are very close in that case the secant between them, the slope of the secant becomes slope of the tangent and that gives you instantaneous rate of change, right? So it's a tangent at a point. Okay, now we need to figure out that in the given graph, which is that point which can give you maximum rate of change, right? So we have to look for a maximum rate of change and minimum and we have to uh, give a logic for that. That is what this question is. And I hope understanding of this particular concept will help you to solve many questions in this unit. So we are looking for maximum rate of change. A point which will have maximum rate of change. Now let's analyze the given graph. Maximum rate of change, let's find the slope of tangent line. So we'll begin by drawing slopes at different points. So let's draw a slope at the starting point itself it seems to be a horizontal line do you see that so as we move forward so we have a slope which is kind of like this and then as we move forward it is here what we observe here is it is zero here so let me let me see how the slope varies with each point so let's consider the points starting from a so what I will do is I'll just list few points B C, D, and E. That will help me to communicate better with you, right? So what we see here is that the, during this phase, as we go along, the slope of this line is rising and it is always positive, correct? So our observation here is that, uh, let's list the slope at different points. Slope at A is almost zero correct at B it is positive but less positive at C it is I will write positive positive that means more positive right still positive but more positive right <laughs> well I've not reached B at all I'm sorry uh, uh, I mean the points between A and B well I made a mistake here C I wrote there okay so let's go back to this and cross this out okay so as we move from a to b we see it is at a it is zero at b it is positive but we all along it is increasing let me write here from a to b it is increasing so that is important so since we see that at a it is zero it is positive more positive and more positive so from a to b the slope is increasing. Great. Now let's go from B to C. So if you see from from B to C, now let's consider from B. B it is positive, I should say very, very positive, right? And if you consider C, then at C we have zero, right? This is we are talking about slope, right? So so at C what we have is is zero, correct? So it is positive here, but if I draw somewhere there 
it is still positive but less than what it was earlier. Do you see that steepness of this tangent line decreases and therefore the slope becomes lesser and lesser. So from B to C it moves from a high positive value to zero. So in this interval it is decreasing. So from this observation you can clearly say that where do we have maximum? So maximum rate of change we can write maximum rate of change is at B, right? Since from A to B it is increasing, it's positive from A to C, remember that part, 0 at A, 0 at C. It increases from A to B and then decreases thereafter, thereby the maximum value is at B, right? So maximum value is at B, which is the coordinate point, x value is 2 and the y value is 3 for us. So that is where it is. So in general what we can write here is and that is very critical to remember so let me put it in red that is maximum rate of change the instantaneous rate of change occurs midway between minimum and maximum value. Do you see that? So minimum is at A and maximum is at C. So the maximum rate of change will be midway between minimum and maximum. So that's a key thing which you can remember and apply, right? And that's the reason, the reason I've explained to you. Now, let us investigate slope from uh, C to D. So at C, we know it is zero. And at D, it is very very negative right but how does it change so what we will find here is that the slope is lesser here negative but lesser but becomes steeper do you see that it becomes very very steep as we go towards D right so what we find is that it becomes more and more negative it becomes more and more more negative correct now after d so so it is kind of maximum negative at d do you see that after d what really happens is that's still negative if you draw this tangent here it is still negative right so, but from negative it becomes zero so it's kind of increasing do you see that so so what we can write here is since it be becomes more and more negative you can think this about as decreasing is it okay now let us also consider the slope between d to e right so at d it is negative and at e it is zero that means it is increasing is it okay that makes sense correct so it is negative becoming zero that means increasing is it okay so it means that at D it is most negative do you see so the slope slope is so we can say slope is minimum at at D do you understand and the coordinate points for D are 6 and 3 6 and 3 now writing in a very similar way as we did for maximum slope we can conclude from here that the minimum rate of change is midway between maximum and minimum of the graph. Do you see that? So I hope with this you clearly understand which are the points which will have maximum instantaneous rate of change, which are the points which will have minimum rate of change and why so these are the points where we say change of concavity let me write change also so change of concavity we also call them as point of inflection we we'll learn in calculus soon so these are the points where you will have maximum 
change in instantaneous rate of change. Now when you are changing from minimum to maximum that will give you a positive value. So we are considering that to be the maximum instantaneous rate of change. And on the other half, when we are changing from maximum to minimum, then midway will give you minimum or the steepest curve but going down. So that is the minimum value for instantaneous rate of change, right? So I hope with this you understand clearly that from a graph, wherever the concavity changes, at that point will have highest instantaneous rate of change. If the concavity changes from rising to falling, then it's maximum. But if it changes from falling to rising, it is minimum. So all these things brought together should help you understand the concept. I hope that's clear. Thank you and all the best.